warning to hikers. While we love Colorado's beauty, our trails and slopes can quickly become dangerous, even deadly. Just this past weekend, one person died. Two others were severely injured in Rocky Mountain National Park. On Friday, a 64-year-old man took a 60-foot tumble on Long's Peak. Then on Saturday, two people fell about 300 feet. A 21-year-old woman was killed and a 25-year-old man was badly hurt. Even the most expert of climbers can easily be hurt. Jerry Roach, who has more than 50 years of mountaineering experience and is an author on the topic, was flown to an ICU at a Durango hospital after a huge fall last week. Last Wednesday, the 79-year-old fell from the top of a more than 13,000-foot mountain near Lake Hope in San Juan County. Tonight, our Alan Janae spoke with Roach via Zoom, who is still in the hospital. The photos are tinting with age, but if you name a mountain, there's a good chance Jerry Roach has been on top of it. He's found routes and charted travels, been on Everest before there were ropes in place. Now at Centura Mercy Hospital in Durango, he looks banged up, but not beaten. So how, many, how many mountains do you, are you climbing these days typically in a year? Oh, hundreds. Still hundreds. Still hundreds, yeah. This one was covered in loose rock known as scree. Jerry, who has climbed for years with his wife Jennifer, also an author, took one wrong step. I think I put my foot down on a, a slippery spot and I just took off. It's sort of like throwing a rag doll down a, down a very, very steep slope. Jennifer can't forget it. Boy, that's on instant replay in my head a lot. Uh, it was hard to, it was, I wasn't sure what I was going to find when I got there. Darkness soon fell as rescuers ran up the mountain. A Flight for Life crew flew over, but there was nowhere to land. The first um, half of the night, I was freezing, violently shaking. A long night until daylight when an Air National Guard crew arrived and put Jerry in a basket, lifting him for transfer to a Flight for Life helicopter piloted by Jim Thompson. I'm like, this guy's 79, still climbing mountains? That's incredible. Wow, this guy's in pretty good shape, you know? <laughs> Having been in far more dangerous spots, it's hard for Jerry to take. I would imagine that it's going to be tough to keep you from going back to climbing. Oh, I'll, I'll get back in there. But he'll be more cautious, even on 13ers. You've found a love for them, haven't you? Well, yeah. But not for this one, though. <laughs> now, Jerry Roach had five broken ribs, broken nose, collapsed lung, lacerations, and a concussion. He's doing okay, though. For decades, if you wanted to climb Colorado's 14ers, you likely got Jerry Roach's books, where he detailed the routes from the easiest down to the hardest or the other way around. He wrote about climbing the world's tallest peaks, too, the second person to climb the seven summits of the seven uh, continents uh, years ago. Uh, this place where this mountain where he fell is an unnamed peak, but it now holds the distinction here of the mountain that took down Jerry Roach. <laughs> likely, uh, well, hopefully it will be the last one that takes him down, but yeah, likely it won't true. be the last one uh, that he attacks. <laughs> Alan, great story. Thank you.